Hey what's up everyone and welcome to daily code buffer. In this video of js buffer we are going to see arrays slice method. So what is the slice method of an array? Slice method of an array returns the shallow copy of the array itself based on the starting index and the ending index that we are providing. So let's see with the one example. We will just create one number array over here. 1 2 3 4 5 let me add this 6 as well so this is the array over here and let me use the slice function over here on number dot slice and here you can see that this slice function takes two argument that is the starting index and the ending index and both of them are optional so if you don't pass the starting index and ending index it will just return the shallow copy of the entire array itself so let's just use this function and here you can define the index over here so if you define 0 over here that means it will start with the 0th index and it will return the all the elements till the end of it and if you define the ending index as well then it will return the element till the element that you have defined excluding that particular element so let's see that i will just use console.log over here and let me print the number over here and this particular array we will store in number 2 and let me print this as well Okay, let's run this and here you can see that we are getting the entire array over here that is the first one and for the second one you can see that it's starting from the index 0 and it will go to the index 2 it won't include the index 3 so we are getting 1 2 and 3 over here and if you don't define the ending index over here if we start with suppose index 2 then it will start with index 2 that is 0 1 and 2 that is 3 and it will get the entire array over here so let's run that yeah, you can see that it is starting with the index 2 and we are getting the entire data over here now we can also give the negative values over here that is the offset value with the negative sign over here what this will do is it will return the data from the ending position so that means if i am giving minus 2 over here it will return the last two elements over here so let's run this and let's see yeah you can see that we are getting the last two elements over here so this way also we can get the data over here and if you don't define anything over here it will just get the entire array back now this particular slice function will work on any of the array types either it would be number string or a complex object as well let's just take one of the example of a string array so here you can see that i have added the particular fruits array that says banana apple orange lemon and mango now to get the values of a citrus fruits over here we can use the slice function over here to get the value of orange and lemon because those are citrus fruits so let's just use constant citrus equals to fruits dot slice i will just say 0 1 2 3 and 4 so this will return the citrus fruits over here let me print this let me run this you can see that we are getting orange and lemon so this way you can use this slice function over here so that's it in this video if you have liked this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos till then happy coding bye bye